Oh, goody. All right, what's going on, everybody? Zombies here again, and today we're back with another Marvel Snap video. So today we got some location decks for you. New location dropping tonight, Lake Hellas. So one cost cards at this location get plus two power. Graphics a little messed up there, isn't showing the proper power, but yeah, plus two power to all your one cost cards at the new location. So kind of a neat one. We've got some decks for it here. Starting off, we have Patriot. Patriot's pretty good at getting one drops down, has other ways of boosting them with Patriot, Mystique, Kazar, Blue Marvel. And we're rocking Super Scroll here as well, just in case of any mirrors or other decks that are trying to take advantage of the powerful ongoing effects to boost up your one drops. Obviously, Ultron going to be good to help close out the game. And we just have some other solid targets for Patriot, like Squirrel Girl, Misty, Mr. Sinister, who also has synergy with our lad, and Shocker to close out our textless cards. Uh, we are rocking Cosmo as well, as on reveals have been really, really popular lately. Cosmo shuts a lot of that down, so definitely seeing a bit more play than he was a few weeks ago. And Iron Lad has just been a really, really powerful source of value in Patriot, especially when it's able to copy our other strong ongoing effects. Then we have what has probably been my favorite deck to play since Legion came out the other night. And if you just got him, this is a pretty good one to go with. Uh, so this is a kind of tempo focused deck. We're using some very, very powerful one drops, probably some of the best in the game here with Sunspot, Nebula, and the Evolved Misty Knight armor because i suspect a whole lot of killmonger to be going around with this location and it can protect our big things like she hulk and the evolved hulk uh shocker never really gets a whole lot of love but he is fairly useful here uh, especially when we can get that cost reduction on something like our she hulk or our cyclops just this deck really really benefits from being able to float an extra energy and shocker helps us do that pretty consistently on turns we otherwise would not be able to magic because this deck really likes the extra turn and you can actually trick people sometimes where you get down a magic lane and then use legion to actually overwrite your magic lane so that way you just end the game on turn six when people aren't really expecting it and you can even go the other direction with it where if you really want that turn seven you can use legion to copy your magic lane if you're worried about your opponent potentially shutting off your limbo with an effect like scarlet witch or rhino other than that we're rocking the lore win combo of gene and cyclops Gene has been an absolute powerhouse in this deck, and it's really, really handy, especially when we can pair her in a lane with Cyclops, and our one drops often help us be able to fill up that lane pretty quickly, so we don't really have to deal with the restriction, but we are still able to put power in that lane with our Cyclops or our Sunspot. Uh, She-Hulk obviously has good synergy with all the energy we're floating here. One common line is to float on turn 5, then we can play Legion and She-Hulk on turn 6, which is pretty devastating, especially if you are surprised turning off your own Limbo location, which a lot of people don't seem to expect. And last but not least, we have the High Evo Hulk. Even though this card was nerfed, it still gets a pretty absurd amount of power and is just a good way to close out the game. He also really benefits from that extra turn if we do want to go that route. Then we have the updated version of the Bounce deck. This one comes from Lambi. Since we want to make use of our one drops anyway, this one has some powerful ones in Bast, Iceman, and Kitty Pride. Has some good interaction with Spider Ham. You can still get some combos going with Hitmonkey and Mysterio, even though Hitmonkey is a little bit more expensive now. Iron Man really, really strong with Bast and helps us go tall in one lane. Java is for the draw consistency and Beast just to bounce stuff back into our hand so we can replay it later, cheaper, buff up our Hitmonkey some more. Uh, Wasp is basically here for our Hitmonkey, helps get a bit more power with him on the final turn and is useful with Bishop and Beast. If you're more into the zoo style approach, we've got two zoo decks here. First one being Thanos Zoo, so if you really just want to spam your one drops, you can't pick a better deck than a Thanos deck. We have some pretty good ones here with Ant-Man, Nebula, Iceman, and Kitty, as well as all of the Thanos stones. Angela, Spider-Ham, and Armor rounding out our two drops. A little bit of interaction with Shang-Chi and Valkyrie. Bizarre and Blue Marvel to buff our boards, and Thanos mainly here for the stones, but sometimes it is useful just to slam the body down, especially if you were able to play out all your stones during the game. 
Then we have Zabu Zoo. Uh, this was an old favorite of mine. I always really loved this deck, uh, but it fell out of favor a while ago. And maybe with this location, we can actually get some value out of it again. Uh, Ghost is a pretty neat tech in this deck. Not only does it help us on the final turn versus things like Killmonger, usually this deck will be ahead since we're fighting for all three of the lanes and we can use Ghost to guarantee that we do not have priority so that way our Shang is always going to hit what they play on the final turn if they play something that can get hit by Shang and we can even use Shauna as a refill mechanism if we're planning on the opponent killmongering our board on the final turn. Zabu really helpful here as he makes our very strong four cost cards a bit more manageable to play and of course, Kazar and Blue Marvel to buff up the go wide board and Bishop benefiting from the fact that we're playing a lot of cheap cost cards. And then to close it out here, if you just want to be the location police and deal with all your opponents spamming all these one drops, I don't think you can go wrong with Sarah Control here. Obviously, we do get a little bit of a benefit with our one drop in Kitty Pride and Nova, but Nova's usually going to be dying. But the main reason to be playing this deck is the fact that you're going to blow up your opponent's stuff with Killmonger. Uh, if you're finding you're having issues with priority at all, you could consider Invisible Woman in the Jeff slot. She's been pretty handy in Sarah Control and is nice with the nerfed Hit Monkey, as you can store your Hit Monkey behind Invisible Woman on turn three and they get the benefit from it on the final turn. Uh, Shang-Chi and especially Enchantress, I think there's going to be a lot of ongoing stuff going around tonight with this location, so Enchantress gets some added value. But other than that, it's just a pretty standard Sarah control deck. Still really, really powerful even after the recent nerfs. And that's going to wrap it up for the decks for tonight's new location. As always, the links to the decks will be in the description. Let me know what you think about them in the comments below. And if there are any you're interested in trying that you didn't see here, would love to hear it. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed it, remember to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.